Good morning, everybody. This is Sean here at Laurel Ranch. Thanks for checking out this video today. I wanted to show you uh, what we got going on here, um, what I'm gonna be working on and hopefully finishing up today. So uh, let me turn the camera around. All right, so we've got this stall to the barn here. And when you go in this, uh, there's a wall there, so I'd always intended for this to be two stalls, but right now the run is just one big area. And what we really want is we want a spot where uh, animals can be kept in the barn. If they need to be segregated or if we have like pregnant uh, animals or something like that. Um, and we're getting ready to have some goats that are going to have some babies and we're going to want them to be able to get off by themselves with their babies. Um, but we also wanted to create something where we could also allow uh, for the mom to get over to get milked and the babies to be segregated. Um, different things like that if we're doing uh, sharing and stuff. So what we did here is there's uh, we put some poles in the ground and uh, so this will create an area right here where it's they've got some cover, they've got water, um, they've got a feeder there. Um, but also right here there's a gate, there's going to be a six foot gate right here that will get them out into this bigger corral area and then ultimately they could use that gate to get out to the pasture. So easy to bring animals in and out. But then also if they're in here, they could use that four foot gate and we could get them right over to the area where we do the milking or, you know, the main stall and stuff like that. So last weekend, uh, Cade dug these holes, which he is a rock star because you can see these holes and we set these posts in there. Um, and these are dug about 20 inches deep, but look at what came out of those holes. I don't know if you can tell, but it is solid rock and um, we don't have the right equipment. We have some, you know, power tools with a chisel on the end. We have a breaker bar, all that kind of stuff, but really dug those out. I know that uh, Cade was really hurting <laughs> after doing all that, but that's just what we're dealing with here. But now these poles are set in there and they're, they're set, they're sturdy. Um, so what we're gonna do, you can see I put a panel right here, um, a cattle panel with uh, two by four squares and uh, attached it to this post with some fencing staples. And I'm gonna go ahead and run up a, a, a metal uh, two and seven eighths inch pipe across the top. And it's gonna hook with this bullet connector there. Another one across the top here to a corner bullet connector. And then another one across the top there. And then we'll have a gate on this side. Um, and then I've got fencing that goes up on that piece as well. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, cutting those top rail pipes. Um, putting them in with the bullet connectors and then securing that cattle panel to the posts and to the top uh, top rails as well. So that's what we're going to be working on. All right, got the pipe cut, got all three pieces ready to go. Um, so obviously I'm, I'm cutting that with an angle grinder, um, which works. There's a lot of other tools. There's plasma cutters and uh, band saws and all kinds of things like that. I just don't have that equipment. So what I have is an angle grinder um, and it works. Um, but just one note, I guess, like I'm probably not following all the safety precautions. I did have glasses. I do pull this over just uh, sparks fly, but um, you know, I'm not wearing like the right pants you're supposed to be wearing. Usually I wear a long sleeve shirt. I didn't this time. So, you know, I got some sparks and stuff, a little bit of black on me, but you know, I'm not burned. But uh, if you're cutting pipe, use the right tools, wear the right equipment. If you're using an angle grinder, you know, I usually wear long sleeves, um, maybe flame retardant pants, stuff like that. So, uh, but anyways, I try to keep an eye. I was watching where the sparks were going, make sure they weren't hitting anything making sure nothing was uh, dangerous or anything like that. So just a uh, word of note there. But now that I got the pipes cut, we're going to go ahead and get them installed.
All right, so what I'm gonna start out with is attach that, that top rail to the wood post. And I'm just using this plastic U-bracket to hold it in there. I've got metal ones on the way, they're just not here yet. So I'm gonna use this when the metal ones get here, I'll put there. And then I'm gonna uh, level it to connect it to the bullet connectors. And I've got this fancy uh, digital level. It's got a magnet on it, you can set it on the pipe. My son got it for me, it was awesome. Thank you, Elijah. I use it a lot. We'll tighten up that bullet connector uh, once it's level, and then we can go from there. And that way I know that starting at that point, I've got everything, those top rails level all the way um, around. All right, so we're gonna get started. Seems like no matter how hard I try, I always forget some tool. <laughs> so at least they're all in the barn, not too far away. Okay, I cut that pipe just a little too long, so I gotta go cut a little bit off of it. All right, got that cut to the right length. Now I can finish up. So I've done this in the past, I put the top rail on and forget that I've got to have the connectors for the gate hinge. So those have to go on first and it's always a little tricky with this top rail on where they go. So hopefully, hopefully I get it right. You can tell I love these ratcheting wrenches. These are super awesome. Unfortunately, on the bullet connectors, there's a lot of places where you got to use that open ended part, but where you can, using that ratcheting wrench, I love these things. Okay, we're getting close. Right, I'm going to use a one by four under the gate to make sure that I'm not resting right on the ground. All right, here it is. So there's the gate and then we've got the top bars on and uh, the panel. So let me show you a couple of things. Um, so you can see here, this is where I was talking about, uh, I just used fencing staples and connected that uh, panel straight to the pole. Um, right here, I used a, a bracket. So this is the wrong size bracket. It's for two inch pipe. Um, this is two and seven eighths inch pipe. Um, it's also plastic, uh, but it's what I had. It's holding it in place for now. And then I've got some straps that are metal uh, for this correct pipe. 
uh, that I'll be replacing it with. But it let me get the job done while I was waiting for that order to come in because Amazon's taking forever now. Um, so a couple things, you'll see the heights of the pipe. I went ahead and I put caps on top to keep water from coming in there and rusting them out. They are different heights. Um, ideally, right now, so a couple things. One, the ground slopes. So um, the pipe was, was all the same size. But as we go out and to the right, as you're looking here, the ground does slope down. And so there is, like right here, the fencing is all the way to the ground. And over here, you'll see a gap uh, on the bottom. And I'll probably take some of that dirt from the holes and just throw it down there, but it's not a significant gap. Um, <clears throat> so I can pop those caps off and go ahead and cut the tops of the pipes so they're all the same level. Um, I just, uh, I burned up all the wheels that I have for my angle grinder. So it's not gonna get done without going to the store. And I don't know that I care. <laughs> so we'll see if people wanna judge me, they can judge me. I may do it one day, but likely I never will. Uh, so that's just the way things go sometimes. But I got the gate on here, so it's swinging nicely. Everything's nice and level. Um, it'll swing in uh, and out both directions. So that's awesome. So we can uh, get animals in and out uh, however we wanna do it uh, by swinging the gate in or out. Um, went ahead and connected uh, all of the, the paneling uh, with um, bailing wire. You can see some sticking up there, shouldn't be. Wouldn't have been that down. So uh, ideally this would be welded on. So if we look here, these outside panels, this corral, uh, it's, it's welded on. You can see that there and it's welded down um, on the verticals as well. So ideally this would be welded on. I don't know how to weld. Um, and I don't own a welder. So that may be something I do at some point is uh, hire somebody to come out here and just tack weld these on. But for now, it'll do the job. Um, this side of the paneling was a little bit long. So I did take an angle grinder and just come in here after everything was attached and go ahead and cut it off so that uh, it wasn't sticking out where it's gonna injure any animals or anything like that. So, um, but all, all together, um, all in all pretty good, pretty solid. Um, I think it's going to do the job, hold the animals in. Um, my only thing is right here, you know, it is a little bit of a gap on the bottom, but I think it'll be okay. I'm going to fill it in with dirt. And that is one thing about when using the um, bailing wire to connect it is I can't quite get it um, to hold as tight necessarily as when um, you're able to push it tight and then weld it on, but that's okay. We'll, we may have it welded later. But for now, I think it's gonna do the job. It's gonna meet our needs. And so I'm happy with how it all turned out. Okay, so I think I just recorded a whole thing and I forgot to press record. So uh, anyways, uh, you can see all in all, I'm pretty happy with how the, the stall turned out. Um, I think, you know, like I mentioned, maybe uh, get those panels welded on. That might make, um, <clears throat> make things just a little bit more sturdy. Um, so we'll look at doing that down the road if I hire somebody. Um, you know, all in all, this was kind of a, a two, two day job. I think the, the majority of the work was last week digging the holes just simply because we're digging into solid rock. So getting those holes dug and then getting the poles set and letting the concrete cure. So you can't really do it all in one day. Um, there, other than the gate, there's no tension. So, you know, we might've been able if we just had a gave it a few hours to let that concrete set put but i'd rather not do that i just don't want the poles moving especially because i want to make sure the gate is level and everything like that so but uh, today is probably about three hours even with the hour and a half mess that went on <laughs> so i think you know main lesson for me today was just have an open schedule stay calm don't worry about it some things go right some things go wrong and uh, if we get it done we get it done if we don't well we've got something to do tomorrow uh but we did get it done today, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, make sure you guys like these videos. Uh, we'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Uh, hopefully you're finding value from them. Um, and then uh, please subscribe to the channel. This, this, this little corral that we just built today that you guys saw me build, uh, it's going to have baby goats in it in not too long, maybe like a month or so. So um, definitely you want to subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss out on baby goats. They will be uber cute. Uh, so until next time, uh, this is Sean LaRue. Appreciate you guys tuning in at Laurel Ranch.